Nola Gent here at Chattanooga Oktoberfest. Good times in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. If you're looking for what to do in Tennessee, join us on this episode of our USA Travel Vlog as we head to Chattanooga, Tennessee to visit a German-American Oktoberfest celebration during their 21st annual Chattanooga Oktoberfest on October 8th and 9th. The Chattanooga Oktoberfest celebration is held at the First Horizon Pavilion at 1801 Reggie White Boulevard, which is also the home of the Chattanooga Market, which is the region's arts, crafts, and farmers market. The Chattanooga Oktoberfest is about 7 hours and 489 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Naked River Brewing Company is right next door, so of course we've got to walk in and check this out because, hey, look, there's Bigfoot. Whoa. So, looky here, they've got a lot of interesting stuff going on. Let's go ahead and walk on inside and check this place out. And you see, they do have quite a nice little amount of space in here with a little bar in the front. And most of the action seemed to be going on on the front patio area. And they did have a wait to be seated with all the Oktoberfest crowds heading to the pavilion. So they've got a large bar, but it was pretty busy, as was that front patio. And they have the little upstairs room here as well. That didn't seem to be in use, though. So, pretty cool little spot, but let's get back to our Oktoberfest tour here. So, it's a lot of uh, food booths and some arts and crafts things set up along the street in front. So, there's a lot of things, not a whole lot of German food items for the most part that I saw. So, it was uh, more of a fair-like kind of atmosphere in many ways. I also didn't see too terribly many people in traditional German uh, garb. So, it was a little more of a laid-back atmosphere and a lot of families were out having a good time as well. So, it seemed there were a decent number of people here, though, certainly, and it looked like a lot of folks were out having a good time. And there were plenty of things to see and do in this little area they had it in. So, it wasn't the biggest festival area, but they still had a pretty good time with the way they had the thing set up here. So, you had a pretty good area, folks. And here we can see another side of the pavilion here, right next to the brewery, and they've got a coffee place there. And it is also the home of that Chattanooga Market inside. So on your non-Oktoberfest times, you can always visit the Chattanooga Market for the arts and crafts and farmer's produce. Of course, we've got our uh, German little uh, photo opportunities all throughout this festival. And so there were more people, I think, actually inside the pavilion looking at the arts and crafts items than there were outside going on the street level of things. So it was a very busy, busy crowd of folks all inside here having a good time looking at all the very many vendors inside of here. It was kind of overwhelming how many vendors they had inside here. So you definitely could spend a whole lot of time shopping and looking at all the different kinds of arts and crafts and produce items in here. So this was certainly an impressive thing. It really was an uh, impressive and overwhelming number of so many items to see in here. Certainly, uh, you would have to be here in person to appreciate just the huge variety of things they had here. They had this little uh, photo opportunity as well for anybody that wanted their photo taken. That was a pretty nice thing. Now let's get back outside and look at some other items and places to do and see things. And I think we can go check out some music right here. Switzerland, but also one other place that's a great source of them. 
That is the United States. That's right. We have had more than our share of really distinctive worldwide popular polkas, and this is no exception. We'll take you now to a place that's name is synonymous with polka. Yes, it's time for the Pennsylvania polka. One, two, one, two. still an important element of Oktoberfest that's been missing so far that I really need to check out and find. And this line right here looks exactly like what I'm looking for. Finally, we have discovered the beer. And hey, you gotta get a little beer to celebrate Oktoberfest correctly, in my opinion. So let's look at all the things they have in this area. So we've got quite a decent selection of beer. There are a lot of local craft breweries from the immediate area. So they do have a very nice selection of some of those local craft brews, and it's uh, quite a lot of beers I've never even tried myself. However, I do see Hofbrau here, so at least there's some traditional Oktoberfest from the Munich breweries here at least. So I put an order in for my Hofbrau original. Chattanooga Oktoberfest, throws. I also found this great contest where you could win a trip to Helen, Georgia, Oktoberfest. So make sure to scan that code and enter that for a chance to win. So thanks so much to everybody at Chattanooga Oktoberfest. The uh, only feedback I would say is you need to have more places to sit and enjoy an actual beer garden atmosphere, which would make the atmosphere a little nicer. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledgent channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolajet here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.